Hello guys, Root Saga here, and in this video I'm gonna show you the fight with the druid Kaga and the the consequence of killing her. Uh, actually, the consequences are mind blowing, and there are big consequences in the stories of the game. So just watch out this video to know what's gonna happen. The first time I fought Kaga, it was a completely stop, killed my party very fast. And uh, I thought that that fight isn't to, to, to fight right now because I'm on level 3. So uh, uh, I changed my companions, I put Liza on my party, and uh, for my surprise, she's completely broken. She's the, the strongest character, I think, in, in this early game. I don't know how gonna be the end of the game, but at the start, I think that she's the most broken character. He has the highest SP, he has the highest damage and he's very tanky he has heal and i think she's very strong okay so i, I think that for this fight i think lazo is pretty mandatory companion to win this fight easily this fight at, the, at this time it wasn't hard at all uh, i missed so many shots my major gale actually did zero damage this fight so you can see that's easy to 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 beat Kaga, uh, I think this magic of Shadow Heart is very, very, hot, very good. This mirror image. I, th I think the key of this fight is not to group. See now in the video, Kaga has an AOE spell that's very powerful, and he has two actions in the turn. So he will use his AOE spell and gonna attack someone. Another thing that she go she's gonna do is when she's heal up, she's gonna poison her weapon. So you need to kill fast. Every time it's possible, you should try to move your character to get a high percentage chance of hitting. Because in front, you get limited, so you have to try to flank your enemies or hit in the back. So it's, that's a good reason to not group all your characters. And with the ranged ones, always pick a high ground. Look, I, I put my, my, my hinder and my mage at a high ground. At this time, Kaga has Bane, cows, Shadowheart cows Bane in, in, when she, she hits someone, and uh, Lazo is in the back of Kaga, so I use this turn to give a great damage with Action Surge. So uh, I think that's the best opportunity to give tons of damage of Kaga. Just to buff her and get backwards with your greatest DPS and hit, hit hard. This time I move Shadow Heart to, to the side of Kaga to hit with a higher percentage chance. As you can see in this video, I got 17% hit chance. Kaga drops a very good necklace, Brood's Mod Revenge, a necklace when you heal a Sharapter and he gains poison to his weapon. So it's a very useful for Shadow Heart and Lazel, because they, they both are my tanks and they both have healing spells and use melee attacks. When I came back to the Sacred Pool, you're gonna see there are no more druids there. And when you go upstairs, you're gonna see a bloodbath. There was a big fight with the Druids and Zevlo Arm 
and main dead bodies on the floor. And then I noted something in my journal. The plates of Frontier are complete. What happened? And then checking the bodies on the floor, I found Will's body. He died like a hero, but he's in even my party. He's in the, in the camp. I don't know he get out of there and try to, to help this fight. Okay, but he's dead anyways. And he... Okay, I, I didn't like him so much. So whatever. Let's go. After the fight, I, I won't talk to, to Ref. He didn't like the Kaga. So let's see what he think about it. We've won, yes. But at what cost? The peace of this grove has been shattered forever. Oh, okay. I think he's mad. Just a little mad. But one guy liked what I did. And this guy is... When we set out on this little adventure, I never imagined I'd watch you slaughter an ancient order of druids. It's a lot of bloodshed. I'm almost impressed. Yes, you're a psychopath. Yes, I need you in my party. You certainly did. I'm glad I'm on the right team. Asteria is a good guy. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.